jitters? I wonder if it was just more of trying to get acclimated into this live event. Yeah, I thought I thought his play calling was a little off, but then right before half he hit he hit the seam that me and Drini had seen early on in the game. Right. And he went to it right when he needed to. And ever since then it was kind of smooth sailing for Bugs, honestly. He was right. playing really, really smart, just running the ball with his quarterback whenever he had the opportunity. Just he managed the game very well that game. Bugs, remember, has made and qualified for every single Madden live event, including the upcoming Madden Bowl because he has secured a spot via points. What do you guys see here? Uh, obviously, Rage, Little Man, they're going to be fighting for uh, more MCS points and, and a Madden Bowl berth. Oh, what I see is that Jay Mills right there on number three. He's hoping that young Kiv, Boogs, or Henry are able to make a deep run in this tournament because they're already ahead of him. And, you know, he's out of this tournament. So he's kind of just trying to hang on by a thread and have right. those guys, one of those guys, hopefully go, go on to win the tournament. Or joke, you know what I mean? That's exactly what I'm what I see on that board. You know, Mills is just praying for those guys to make those runs so he can just right. barely hang on and make that Madden bowl. And it just hurts not being able to control like control your own destiny. You're just out here watching, just praying like Mo said, like you just can't do anything about it. Whatever happens, happens, and he's just gonna have to live with the results. All right, what shall we see here in our second featured match in group A play? Boogs, rocking the Lions unit. He's got the ball first, taking on Little Man on defense in those Dallas Cowboy unis. And, and Little Man and Boogs have played before. They played in online elimination. Boogs got the better of him, but Boogs got pretty lucky in that game. Pass the ball. We're gonna we're gonna see Little Man's already talking to Boogs. He's saying pass the ball. Inside zone is not gonna work on him. He's already labbed against all that. They knew he was gonna be in the trail by flex. Him and Boogs got in the lab and they've, they've been preparing for Boogs. Mo, you've been known as a pretty emotional player too. Little Man was extremely you know, quiet in that first matchup. I wonder how much that impacted him. Wow, first pass of the game and it's picked off. Oh my oh, God, that's a pick. Oh, wait a second now. Oh my God. Oh goodness, I thought he had a lane to the crib, but ultimately brought down a huge defensive play for Little Man. And you gotta understand the difference between Little Man when he plays against his friend like Joe, and when he, now he plays someone like Boogs. Him and Boogs has a rivalry, man. Little Man just loves to talk on Twitter about how he just owns Boogs in tournaments. And you can just hear this man that he's just capping at him. Letting, he's just talking to him. <laughs> Oddly <laughs> enough, Boogs beat Little Man yeah. <laughs> to get here. So, But, you know, this is back-to-back -back games with Boogs. He's, he turned the ball over on his first possession, and his Great opponents point. start inside his own red Great zone. Point. So, you know, th this is nothing new to Boogs. He's going he's gonna to pick it up and fight, I'm sure of it. But hopefully for Boogs, he's able to hold Little Man to three right here because he is starting Little, a little baby. bit deeper than Let's Crush did at the 18-yard line. So Little Man's going to start his first drive after that interception at the 18-yard line. Yeah, it seems like the same position he was in this last game. You are absolutely correct. Boogs, in his first game against Crush, turned it over on downs, was sacked on fourth down and brought down at the 10 yard line. That's where Crush picked it up for his first possession. Now Little Man from the 18, looking to get in. You see the difference between Crush and Little Man though is when Crush is in I form tight, you know he's gonna run the ball. It's just, no, there's no if or in or but. He's just gonna run the ball because you know he has this bunch of formation. That's, that's his formation where he's gonna pass. But with Little Man, he stays in a strong close to pass and run the ball. So it's gonna be hard for Books to just like flat out only, you know, just re rely on the defense because you know he's gonna have to have pass defense with it as well. Little man tries to stretch it out to the right, found negative four yards. So now second and 14. He's gonna be in the strong close all game. One minute into this game, interception set up great field position for Little Man. Dropping back to pass now. Tons of time. Oh my goodness, all kinds of time. Ryan Tannehill looking, scanning. He's going to fire it to the right side and he finds a man. Down to the six. That's good stuff by Little Man. Nothing was open initially, but he rolled out the pocket, saw that there was no pressure, knew he could you know, just roll out, and then the post route came back to him, low balled it, and now he's at the five yard line or six yard line. All he needs is six yards, and it's a 7 0 lead, and he gets ball at half. And if you're Boogs, you're just dying for one of those guys at the block shed. That was really good defense, kind of a broken play there for Little Man. A little bit fortunate that one of it, one of Boog's guys didn't come in there free. I'm so not now, a fan of this run defense right here versus this type of offense. Looks like the dive is going to be pretty good, but hey, Boog slows it down right there, proving me wrong. Two-yard pickup, takes it down to the four. Second and goal. 
And if you're bugs, you just really got to try your best to hold them to three right here. I know it's going to be difficult. Little man's probably going to be running a lot of dive and stretch down here. And Boogs is in that 4-3 playbook. So if you're able to stop him one time, get him to a third and go up to five. It'll make your life a lot easier. Second and goal. He's going to be this doubles north. Little here man. Comes dive. Try to break it out to the left. Found no space there. And third I'll, and goal now at the four. I'll tell you what, Boogs is containing this run. You know, it sure it, is. You know, the passing... You know, that, well, the one play from Little Man was honestly kind of fortunate. He shouldn't have got that playoff. It was a pretty fortunate play. I wouldn't be surprised to see Little Man run the ball again right here. This right here, a huge play. Third and goal from the four. Running up the middle, and he stopped. He's going to have to take three. Big yep. time fourth down. And that's that's a theme you'll notice. A lot of players aren't going to go for it fourth and goals anymore, you know, especially in this game mode. Everybody feels like it's pretty difficult to score, so Little Man's going to have to be happy with taking his three right here, and Boogs is happy to give it to him. It was just so funny because, you know, when Lil Men, Joke, and Crush all heard that Boogs had 4-3, they just talked about how they're easily going to run the ball on him, and Boogs is just holding his ground. Like, he's not allowing anybody to, any run to break off, holding them to like three or four yards. Maybe he might break off for five or six, but he's okay with that as long as it's just not a big run. And, you know, that's, what, that's what's making his run defense really good right now. And we've seen no holes in the in the run no, defense either. I mean, there's been no space whatsoever. Yeah, none at all. You know, none on the stretch, none on the dive. There's been multiple guys there almost every single yeah. time. And, you know, that's why I always say you can never look past anybody because you start to think that it's going to be easy, and that's when it gets really difficult, and you don't know what to do in those difficult situations. So now second possession of the ball game for Boogs. Remember, his first ended in an interception. Dropping back to pass again. Not much there. Under pressure, and he's sacked. None of that, bro. You will have to do something else. Trust me, Boogs has seen this defense many times. I obviously told you that I was, you know, I labbed him up, you know, before, like online elimination. I ran this defense a lot versus this, but, you know, it looks like Boogs just doesn't know what to do right now. Second and 23, a 13 yard loss. He's going to keep it do on the ground. Else, wow, that's a surprise. Do something else. Do now something third else. and 23 you after no yards game, gained. Do something else. Though. Ball at the 12 yard line. Third and 23. This is oh, Lord, huge. Man. Drini, I mean, there's not too many, you know, 23 yard plays you got. <laughs> nah, honestly, if I'm Boogs, I'm probably putting a smart routed in route. Hopefully, he gives it up, try to get as much time as possible. But, you know, if Lil Man is smart here, he would know that Boogs is feeling that the blitz is coming. He's going to probably block seven. And I'll try to disguise it and try to, you know, put everybody in coverage. And as he did, he only sends three people. Like I said, he oh, missed he has him. He has him. Oh, oh my goodness. He's oh. got a man. He's going to test it. Oh. He's got it. Nicole Hardman. Lightning strike. Touchdown. And Boogs is talking to Little Man a little oh. bit. Boogs is talking to Little Man a little bit. Something you don't see often out of Boogs, but if you're Little Man, that was terrible defense. I don't know how you ever give that up. Third and 23, you send three guys, and you have McCall Hardman one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to get beat every single time. That was very, very bad defense right there by Little Man. And I just love how Little Man just starts, like when he talks trash, he just like gets in his face, just starts talking. But Boogs, he doesn't do anything. He just stares you down. He gives you that silent treatment. Yeah, no. Nah, I'd rather have someone talk trash than give me the stare, bro. All right, taking a look at the Snickers replay. Cunningham steps up in the pocket. Great pocket awareness, by the way. And then how about the catch and run? Hardman for the touchdown. I understand you have Dante Jackson, but I just don't trust anybody one-on-one, -on -one, third and 23, Man. especially when you're only sending three guys. That was just very poor defense right there. Barkley testing the middle, Jackson, finding a little bit of space, and like not said, a ton, picked up three. And like I said, he's <laughs> the run game is going to be okay. He's going to get three or four yards here and there, but it's never going to break off. It's never going to be a long run. Boogs is just containing it, and he's totally fine with that. The much worried about run defense for Boog stepping up big in two matches thus far. Throwing it out to the left side. Dante it's Jackson, man. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. First down now. That's Dante Jackson. So bad. And like I said, Little Man's talking about that's Dante Jackson. He shouldn't get burnt. That was bad defense. Let's, like, let's call a spade a spade. That was very poor defense. And if you, if you think otherwise, Little Man, you need to get back in the lab. There's no way you're third, th third and 23, you're one-on-one -on -one with McCole Hardeman. I don't care who it is. 
There, there's no way anybody should be one on one on third and twenty three. It's <laughs> it's impossible to give that up on this game mode. And Drini will tell you that it is so difficult to give it up on this game mode. You could run any defense and you're going to stop them, but you run man to man with no safety help, you're going to give that up. Yeah. And you deserve to give it up. Be interesting to see what the route combinations were that took away the safety over the top. I mean, one on one, just again, as you mentioned, on third and 23, that's. That's a no-no. And I love this change from Boogs, man. He recognized that that other defense that he was running to stop the run had no chance versus the pass. Now he's an over G. Uh -oh, watch out. But, you know, over G is better versus the putt, better versus the pass, but it's, it is not as good as it nickel normal versus the run. So nine yard pickup makes it second and one. First quarter obviously came to a close. That score was seven to three after one. So what does Little Man got in his bag? Hand off. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at the run defense. The run defense for Bugs coming up huge. Make the attack. Make the attack. I see Bugs over there talking to himself, I think, a little bit. What could it be? A little maybe hyping himself up a little bit? Oh yeah, for sure. But time and time again, man, he's just coming out in this over G of like four down D lineman and he's just stopping the run. It's just crazy. As you mentioned, Jarini, he got labbing yesterday. Well, man, I mean, Bugs needs to get on that strong safety on the right. Time winding down, six, five. Hand off. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh sure. did he get it? Inches. Fourth and inches. When I Little man with the hurry up. He's going to run dive here. He's got right it. Right up the middle. He's got it. Oh, and he's got more. Down to the 10. Down to the 5. Oh, no. Man, Stumbles touch them. right down oh, to the no. one-yard line. Boogs got caught on on his slot cornerback. He was expecting a stretch. He motioned. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't even do a motion. Usually when he motions over, he's going to do a dive. But he didn't even do the motion this time. He slid like he was on the slot cornerback. Yeah, hiked game, it as quick baby. as possible. And Boogs got quick hike. Gave up the first down and more. That's a situation where I like to use a timeout, just kind of get my get my best defense out there. It's a huge play in the game, and Boogs wasn't set up at all. Made it very easy for Little Man. First and goal from the one. Right Ooh. up the middle, and the user hit stick. A negative yeah. one-yard it, pickup. It's on the right TV on most of you. Seven to three. The score right now. Boogs with a lightning strike touchdown right over the top from Hardman. Gave him that 7-3 lead. Can he hold again? Second and goal from the one. Little man looking to punch it in. Nope. Nope. Stopped in the backfield. Hold the door. Not only that, he loses a yard, so he might not go back to this goal line. Wow. You know, uh, for a few for a few weeks right there, when you came, whenever you came out in goal line, it was a free touchdown. But everybody's kind of figured out if you match that goal line personnel with goal line defense, it's very difficult to gain yards. And I'm surprised to see so many players continue to go back to this goal line offense because it's not very good, especially against this goal line defense. And I, I like the adjustment here by a little man. I'm not saying it's going to work, but I definitely love seeing him come out on this rather than the goal line. Third and goal. I formation. I honestly don't like this From stretch the two. ball here because he has so many people over there on the left. He's, it's like he's like literally playing for the stretch. Can Boogs hold it one more time? I feel like he's going to take it to the two minute warning and he's going to, I think he's going to come out and dive next time because he sees that he's just overloading on the left side. Expect the dive right here. This a gigantic play. Third and goal from the two yard line. Got to be dived. It is right up the middle. Oh, and he's he stopped again. He's, go he's, going, he's, he's going for it. He's hiking it quick. He's hiking it quick. I would run commit. I would run commit down so fast. I and he, got does. It. And he oh, finds the space, on. a little bit of space on that right side. Down. And he punches it in for a much needed touchdown. It's crazy because I feel like off the pursuit angles the on the linebackers, it looks like he did run commit, but it's it actually didn't pan out well for him. I felt like he should just play his regular defense, no run commit. The linebackers are making better pursuit angles. And he ends up giving the touchdown, three-point lead. Books has well, to get three to here, man. Like he's gonna, ha little man's gonna get the ball at half, and he's gonna try to clock it. One forty-two. Ooh, ball! Just crosses the thirty at the thirty-one. Taking another look at this 
easy touchdown. I didn't like the little angle man. Books took with his user right there. I, you know, you know, little man's running it to the right. I would have tried to shoot over there to the right. Books got caught up in the middle. You know, just just a tough stitch, just a tough spot right there, fourth and inches. Maybe call, like I said, call a timeout, get your best defense out there, make little man think about it a little bit. And something to note, there was two fourth down and you know shorts that whole possession could have gotten off the field, but it's a great point. Great Bugs looking, finding. Can guard move. And it's caught. Ball at the 45 yard line. Big pick up there on first down. I will say something I've noticed in these first two games watching Bugs play, I think he likes to have those, those three wide receivers on the left side of the field more that's more so than the right. I think the run plays are a little bit better to the left, and I think he's more comfortable passing the ball as well. 132 left to go in the first half. He's leaving Hardman on an island once again. As you mentioned. Bugs will be playing defense to start the second half. Little man will get possession to start the second half. So points here, huge. Cunningham, tons of time. Throws it underneath, Hardman again. Woo, nice little juke move to the outside. Oh, and he'll push the ball up to the 21. And 120, on the I, clock. I told you that Boog got a lot of reps versus this 146 man aligned defense. He, he struggled first possession, but he just had to see a few things. You know, last last time versus Crush, you know, he ran it. He played against Over G. Doesn't see it often. He just, it just took him one possession to get used to it, and then he started lasering. So it's the same thing here. He just has to make sure that you know in his future games after this doesn't make that same mistake in the first possession. 101 left to go in the ball game, or excuse me, in the first half. Bugs looking for a touchdown. Obviously, would be. Settling for three. I like this doubles north. Right right to the left. left. Not much space Not there. Right. Lost a yard. I like that audible. Honestly, he wanted to test if uh, Little Man had run defense from one four six or not. You know, a lot of people don't. Usually, that run right there kills one four six. But uh, good stuff by Little Man. Fumble, oh. man! Come on! Cunningham trying to get out of the pocket. Come could on, not do God. it. And it looks like Boogs honestly played this possession a little scary. You know, he. He didn't want to give Little Man the ball back with any time, but I think he could have had much better play calling. You know, he just had to go out there and quick snap that last play. And I would honestly just run the ball right here and make Little Man use that last time out and try to go to half 10-10 because I think he's played fine defensively. And honestly, Four seconds left to go in the first half, third and 13. Honestly, I'm not a fan of that timeout. Uh, if Boogs gets his first down, he has enough time now and he has timeouts. Interesting. Little cat and mouse game from the... Give me oh, the ball! Oh, give me the Get there, fat boy! Whoa! Yeah, boy. Second boy. turnover of the first half for Bugs. This one huge. That's Team. big, dog. And, that, and that's really lucky for Bugs because that could have easily went for six if his offensive lineman doesn't make that tackle before half. But man, really, really unfortunate to have your quarterback fumble in the pocket right there. And you really can't say that's you know lucky for Lil Man because there's actually a setting where you can you know, not fumble in the pocket with your quarterback. You can go on conservative, not uh, fumble in the pocket. So you really can't say that's lucky if you are, but. So now 14 seconds left to go after that first down pickup. He needs one big play to get into field goal range. He's got one timeout left. From prior experience, you know, playing in mud drafts, I think you have to get to the 38 yard line. Anything other than that, I feel like it's gonna hit the bottom post. So. He has to get to that 38-yard line if he wants to get be in field goal range. Hey. So does Little Man have a passing play? Expect to see coverage here from Bogues. Little Man traversing the pocket. He's going to oh. oh. the ball's out! Oh, my, oh my goodness. Goodness. gosh. The that ball so was lucky. out. That was huge. But recovered ultimately by Little Man. Bogues fumbles with his QB, then Little Man recovers. Now Little Man fumbles his QB, but... Bugs does not get the same treatment. Oh man, that, that was a hurt. user hit stick. If you're Bugs, you absolutely need that. Extremely unfortunate play there for Bugs. Give a little man new life in this first half. So this will be the last play of the first half. And he's just gonna run it. I know man's fine. We're going up 10-7 after that play. Does not want to give Bugs any chance at extra points. Little is gonna go up three points with ball at half. Bugs not playing his best game, but he's in it. Halftime score, 10 to seven. Little man with a three point edge. If you're looking for one of the best DB legends out there, look no further than the Madden Challenge giveaway card. Guaranteed by attending Madden Challenge Finals on Saturday. 
using our Twitch extension, or even following us on Twitter, you can score yourself an extremely rare Nat96 OVR Champ Bailey pulled right from the Madden Ultimate Team Playoff Masters Pool. Let's take a look at the players hanging out in the Snickers Players Lounge. Obviously one of the best seats in the house to watch competitive Madden. See young kid there, you see Henry. Look at those goons. Ha! All right, let's get back into the second half here. A three-point game. Little man with a three-point edge right now. Following a two-turnover first half from Boogs. And like we said, Joke and Little Man are like lab partners. Expect Little Man to treat this, you know, like how Joke would treat it. You know, Joke sees he's up three points with possession in the second half. He's gonna try to clock this out. He's trying to not, he's not trying to give you the ball back for a long time. Expect him to, you know, run the ball a lot and then pass on third nine uh, conversions. So he's gonna try to run this clock out, give himself, you know, give Boogs the least amount of time as possible. Little Man, test in the middle, find some space. One player! Just shy of the first down marker, second and inches. And if I'm Boogs, I would go back to that defense where you're just forcing him to pass. This looks way too easy, especially just running halfback dive. You need to make Little Man think on offense. This is, this is really, really easy for Little Man right now. Little Man, under center. 10 to 7 the score. A horrific first half in terms of turnovers for Boogs. Got him. They turn it around. Wow, shot that middle. Yes. Got the stop. That's thick work right there. Seeing the hole, attacking it, tackle for loss. You know, a lot of people miss that tackle right there. You know, you know, me personally, like when I shoot the gap, it's hard for me to make the tackle after shooting the gap. Boogs reads where Little Man was going to go with his running back, makes the tackle, and that's a loss of game. Beautiful yeah, stick pass work. Here. Third and three. Strong close has no fullback, you know, dive or anything like that, so he is passing the ball. Throwing the ball out into the flats. It's picked up by James White. Four first down. And that's something about the strong close formation. You know, you could pass the ball, you can run the ball. There's so many route combos you can do with this formation. So that's why, you know, people like Little Man and Joe have been running it so far in this tournament. Just so versatile and you can audible to so many things. I just love it as a, you know, especially for draft champions. James Coe here with uh, Sirius Mo and Jarini, two two-time belt winners and two winners of this very format, the Madden Challenge. Can Little Man push points on the board here and take a commanding lead? We shall find out. Throws it to Saquon Barkley in the flats. Nothing but safe passes so far for Little Man. Yeah, man. Little Man is just dying up the field like he's he feels comfortable in the pocket. He knows there's no pressure coming at him. He's in a 4-3 playbook. It's tough to scream out of a four-down four D-lineman set. So, you know, he knows that he can send out routes, his running back, fullback, tight end. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to match attack. So he's feeling really comfortable out there. And, you know, he has good route combos as well. This is going to be the first time we're going to see him in a shotgun formation. I feel like he's been playing good and strong close. Don't, don't really need to change it, but I want to see what Little Man goes to. Yeah. Second and nine. Shotgun formation for Little Man. He's going to hand the ball off, and he's going to be stopped in the backfield. And time and time again, Boogs just making the right read with his user, knowing where to go, where, knowing where to fill the gap. And look at him, he just looped around his O-lineman. That's just awareness by Boogs' user, man. You know, Guys, for six quarters now, Boogs, I feel, has played tremendous defense. Oh, absolutely. He's played great defense. And I just want to point out, you know, we talk about Little Man making these runs but never winning the tournament. This right here is exactly why. Why is he coming out on this shotgun doubles when he's had such, such success in that strong close formation? He's making it so tough on himself, and now he's going to have to punt the football. He's, he's moved the ball flawlessly without a strong close, but these last two plays, he just gets bored, I guess, and just says, I'm going to come out and, and, and shotgun. And two easy stops for Boogs, and now you got to punt the ball away. That's exactly how you lose yourself a tournament. That's just awful game planning right there by Little Man. He's got to stick with what he knows, stay in that strong close formation. It was really easy for you. Boogs had no idea what to do, and now you just gave Boogs the keys to the car to go drive, the, drive it home and win the game. Wow. I, I do not like that at all. Jerini, would you agree with that assessment? Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, he picked this Packers playbook to be in strong close. He picked two running backs to be in strong close. You do not want to waste one of those rounds. And you know, you have two running backs. You know, you got to use them at all the times. You don't want to waste rounds. So I, I, I'd expect him to be in strong close all the time from here on out. 
So this drive will start for Bugs at the seven yard line. He's got a long way to go. He's going for a shot play right here, it looks like. Is he gonna be able to buy the time though? We're gonna see Little Men's user just guard B his own self. Good pocket protection. He's throwing Ooh, to the flex. Come on, dog. Give me the pick, dog. And he had to throw that route because he wasn't able to throw the ball away or else it would have been intentional grounding that's right, and a safety. In the pocket. You're right. So he had to throw that route right there. It was scary, but that's exactly what he had to do. I wish he would have done this audible down before because he definitely needs to get on the other side of the field. This is really scary. This may work right here, though. Second and 10. Expect him to run stretch to the left. He ran stretch to the right last time. Didn't get any yards. He's coming down here now. He's gonna try to, you know, try to attack to the tight end side this time. Bugs, he needs yards. This Any gonna, kind this of yards. Is good. Here. This is just to be good. Oh, oh great run defense by Lil Man. Oh, I would, I would have oh, liked to see Bugs just motion the wide receiver all the way over, let him set. It looks like that that nickel corner was able to go unblocked because he, that 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 wide receiver got mixed up with the safety. Didn't know his assignment correctly. Huge play here, third and eleven after a one yard loss on that run. We're gonna see a streak a post, and a deep dig. Can the offensive line give him enough time to get all that set up? We'll find out. Books, scanning, looks. Oh, oh my goodness, man, that ball tipped ball. away. Nearly it's picked pick off. Six. And when I tell you those are the perfect adjustments for what Books just did, that were, and those were perfect. That should have been a pick. He did not get rewarded with that, with the perfect adjustments. I need to see if Books is gonna go for this right here. I don't want Books to go for it because just little man talking as he always does, and that's what I was wondering in his game against Joke. You know, the the fact that they are friends and and uh, little man was keeping his emotions in check. I, I was just wondering if that did have some kind of effect on his play. Not a very good punt right here by Boogs. That was only, that was only net in about 30 yards. Over. Come on! But Boogs, he's playing That's fine defense. Seven. The problem it's is he's not playing very move. good on offense at all. And honestly, I, I liked that stretch look he went to. Although he didn't gain any yards, I think if he lets that wide receiver set in motion, I think that stretch is going to win him this game if he's able to get back on offense. And I just hate that Boogs didn't capitalize on when Lil Man made a, a little mistake by going to doubles in that right. formation. Like it's handoff, Barkley up the middle, good pickup. Spin, now Lillman's not going to get out that strong close formation. He realizes that he's not going to move the ball effectively in doubles. He's going to stay in the strong close, and now Brooks oh. needs to lock up, hold the three, and give himself give himself a chance to Big score game. seven and win the game. Ten to seven, your score as we enter into the fourth quarter. The only points put on the board by Boogs came that by way of that good. very long touchdown pass to Hardman. Other than that, not much has been there. Yeah, and something to talk about, on that streak to Hardman, it was a fourth and 23, so he has been struggling this whole game. He hasn't been able to move. It's just if Loman can get it going on offense, it can be real rough for oh, Boogs yeah. and right here. Little Man yeah. testing the edge, spinning Ooh, to the inside. Yeah. Nice on. little stick work from Come Little on. Man. Picks up the first down, gets it down to the 19-yard line. And that requires to have incredible timing to spin out two people at the same time. I personally don't do that on. a lot. You know, I can do, I'm I can right make one there, person miss, baby. but making Come two people on. miss at the same time, that's incredible. Stick work by Little Man. Inside the 20, it's good stuff. This is where it gets a little bit easier to stop the run, though. So expect Bugs to play a little bit more aggressive. He knows he's got to get this defense off the field, give himself one more chance in this game. Great Anything defense. other than great defense. And again, just his ability to kind of work his way into the backfield with his user. It's just Bugs has played incredibly good defense. And I'm shocked to see Little Man not go to a strong close and try to just end this game. But he's gonna he's gonna just run the ball. It looks like it, and hope and Bugs is just hoping he can stop it, hoping he can contain it one more time. Get get Little Man to a third and long. Second and ten. Does Bugs can he find that defense? Oh my! He'll throw oh it. My, that's and it's picked off. That's gonna be six. Griffin. Griffin's got a chance. He's bobbing. He's weaving, oh and he's pushed out of bounds oh, at the 43 yard line. An absolutely oh my God, massive play down, for Bugs. And he, uh, he had the flat route wide open, down, and he's probably going to get to the second down. level. He's probably going to pick up the first down. But little man, just a huge error right there. Just an awful play once again. He had the flat route wide open. And oh my goodness. And now Bugs has life. 350 left to go in this game. 10-7 to seven your score. Bugs down by three. 
honestly, he had the corner out as well, but he just had a bad pass lead with it too. He just, I felt like he was just so greedy right there. He passed lead up and he passed lead towards the safety, it looked like, instead of to the sideline where his tight end could have actually caught the ball. That's just a bad mistake, mental mistake by Lil Man. Drini, can you talk about the stick work involved in there? You're, you're talking about the direction he, he, yeah. he was throwing that ball. Yeah, so basically the tight end ran a corner out and the safety was on top of him. So if the safety's on top and the tight end's running the corner out, you want to pass it away from the safety just so he can't make a play on the ball. But Lil Man made a mistake. He passed it towards the safety instead of that and it just ended up being a pick. Crucial error and you, you usually don't see you know many players making that type of mistakes. Wow, so here we are, second and eight, tons of time in the pocket. Now he's under pressure, he's gonna scramble oh, up, no! and he needs to oh, throw no! that ball away, but instead he's sacked in the backfield. And man, when I tell you Brooks is up, in a box, you know, like I told you, Brooks sees his defense so much, but I don't know, Lumens, I guess, is doing something just a little bit different than everybody else. He usually dots this, but he's just making perfect adjustments right now. Third and 17 for Bugs. This is huge. He already got a huge long conversion on Lil Mangla. I want to see if he can do it again. Mo, are we at the point of the game where it's four down territory? I think so. And he's going to have to just, he's going to have to pick up eight or nine yards right here. You're never, it's going to be really tough for you to get right. 17, especially when you've already burnt Little Man over the top. I think you need to try to make this fourth and manageable. Yep. Go to the two minute warning, kind of regather your thoughts and get your best play out there. All right, so can he pick it up? Bugs scanning. He's got a man. Nope. Now he's under pressure, go, and man. he's going to be sacked again. You can't move. My God, bro. What am I doing? Fourth and twenty. Fourth and twenty-nine. I mean, at this point, you got to punt it away. And that was honestly not very good defense by, by Little Man. It looked like he had the slant wide open Stupid, early, I'm and it would have just been one on one with the user. Can he make a miss? Regardless, you would have picked up 10, 11, 12 yards. I have to wait one more second. I, I, I would have thrown to this, try to get into the slant early and and try to make a move. And right there, you know, he came out and punt with two minutes and 10 seconds left. He waited until two minutes and four seconds to kick it, and it actually went to the two minute warning. Oh, so, so he lost the timeout. He lost the timeout right there. Bad awareness That's by Boogs. Huge. He has to hurry right there. Now he has to stop him right now. Can't let him get a first down or wow. he's going to be in a horrible position. So here we go. Barkley testing Bye. the right side. Bye. And he's got some space. He's got tons of green in front of him. And he's going to find the end zone. Little man puts the game away. And he's letting Bugs know what he has on his mind. Man, he said he cannot beat me. Although he beat him in the single limbs, because he has short-term memory. <laughs> that's, that's what you need in this game, man. That is what you need in this game. Big rushing touchdown for Little Man. Pushes it 17 to 7. Now the fumble! Oh, no. Oh, Give it up, and it pulls! Jay Wall should have been hitting, not you! Bugs! Not you! Third! Jay Wall should have been hitting, the game. Game. Scoop not and you. score! Touchdown! And now Bugs. it is an absolute been. avalanche! Now I'm lucky every year! And now, you know, this point differential is really Come coming on. into play right here when we had Man. a really close game, Woo. and now it's turning into it's a blowout when that's not how the game was going at all. Now Bugs is down 17 and absolutely has to find a way to get points. Little man said that to me. Those were fighting words. <laughs> and can somebody hit little man with the be easy? Like, <laughs> let, let, let's get my, the little guy to calm down, please. All right. So this is the Snickers instant replay. But uh, again, a scoop and score touchdown uh, on the kickoff return. Bugs looking for a big play, couldn't find it. Instead, it was little man making the big defensive stop. And it's super tough to you know come back from a loss versus joke, and then then now. You know, you're playing so great versus um, versus a player of, you know, boost caliber. So, you know, it's, a, it's tough to, you know, do stuff like that. Kudos to Lil Man. 24-7 to the score. And again, point differential does matter. So, Boogs desperately needs to put points on the board. And not even just three with the score the way it is. He needs seven. The thing that scares me with Boogs, though, is he's going to go play Joke, who's going to run the same exact defense that Little Man ran. So if he can't beat it versus Little Man, yeah. Joke's a better defensive player than Little Man is. So it's gonna be really, really tough for Bugs going into that game versus Joke. Yeah, if I'm Bugs, I'm labbing. You see, I'm not even caring about this game anymore. The game is already over. I'm labbing route combo. Something that can beat this type of defense. You know you're playing Joke next. Do something right now. And right now, Little Man is just absolutely caging Bugs' offense. You know, Bugs picked Minnesota for the offense 
and you know he didn't get his right defense so you know he sacrificed defense for offense but his offense is just letting him down right now Bugs scanning, uh -oh. looking, not finding much, but does get a diving catch. Third and three. Now, we've seen it a few times. Little man gets emotional. Um, you know, for a lot of players, you might even say he crossed the line. Mm -hmm. Is it water under the bridge after the final horn, or, or does Book say, no, nah, we're, we're, that's not going to be? Well, I always say for me, you know, when the game's going on, you know, we're in a tight game, little man breaks the run to go up 10. I get it, you know what I mean? But right. when, you, when you're already up 10 and you get a fumble for six and you're still chirping, like that's when it's annoying. You know, that's when you look, you look silly out there. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the capping I, I never liked. Uh, when, the game's, when the game's already over, what, what, what else is there to talk about? You won the game, what more do you want? You know what I mean? But when the game's going on, I'm perfectly fine with all the chirping. But like I said, when he gets that fumble for six to go up by 17, there's no reason to say anything. And Jerina, capping is a big part of the uh, of the Madden community, and, and obviously trying to get into your opponent's head. But I, I think what Mo said there, I think, makes a lot of sense. If the game you feel like is pretty much over, as another sack from Little Man uh, here, but uh, as the game will come to a close. But boy, I'm, I'm going to keep it a close eye. Is there going to be a handshake?